Hello everyone, in this lecture we are going to discuss the concept inheritance. It is important feature of object oriented programming. As we all know that human get some of the physical or genetic properties in hereditary. Suppose here this lady is getting this left green properties from her father and her father get same property from his mother. So this left green property is inherit her child and the same property is inherited to grandchild as well same way this right green property is inherited from her mother and her mother get this property from her marital mother so same way this grandson is getting this green property from his father so ultimately this grandson is getting this green property from his grandparent same way this granddaughter is getting magenta property from his father and grandfather so let us discuss inheritance concept in terms of object oriented programming and c plus plus so suppose we are having class doctor having certain attributes like age height and weight we can say these are the data members and member functions like talk walk eat and diagnose the patient here is the class footballer having attributes like age height and weight it is very similar to attributes of class doctor and methods like talk walk eat and play football another class class businessman having attributes age height and weight methods talk walk eat and run business so here you can observe that these attributes are similar to all three class and member functions like talk walk and eat all three are repeated in all three class the only difference is that a doctor can diagnose the patient a footballer can play football and businessman can run business so here these three are common member functions all of the class have common attributes like age height weight and methods so in each of the classes you will be copying the same code for walk talk eat for each character so this is the one of the reason where the concept inheritance required let us discuss more on that i am creating one class person having attributes age height and weight i am writing code for talk walk and eat now i am deriving one class doctor from that person so here person is parent class and doctor will be a child class so here doctor will inherit these properties from class person and implement on member function that is diagnose same way we can inherit these properties in class footballer and a separate method i'm going to implement that is play football next is class businessman it will inherit the all properties from class person and implement one different method that is run business so to avoid repeating the code in all three classes i have created one parent class inside that i have written this code and that will be inherited or derived to the child class so this is the concept of inheritance in which one class acquires properties from another class this class is called base class or we can say parent class and these all three are called derived class or we can say child class let us take another example here we are having class vehicle having attributes engine number and color every vehicle will be having some engine number and color property and methods is applying brakes now if i going to implement class car then this can inherit these properties from class vehicle same way we can implement class bus having public vehicle but it is going to inherit these common attributes and methods from class vehicle and under the class that is truck it is having goods vehicle and going to inherit attributes and methods from class vehicle so we can say inheritance is the process by which a class can acquire or reuse the properties and methods of another class so if you are deriving one class from another class it is called inheritance and that old class is called base class or parent class and the new class is called derived class and child class so the derived class may have all properties or some properties from base class and programmer can add new features to derived class so this is the concept inheritance 
now let us understand how to implement this concept in our c plus plus program so first of all let us understand the syntax here is the syntax you are supposed to write class that is keyword then your class name access mode base class name and body of class if you are creating new class then you are supposed to write access mode and parent class or base class let us see example for more clarity here i am having one class person and inside that i am having some variables and member functions this is base class now if i am creating new class that is class doctor and i want to derive some properties from person so i am supposed to write colon then access mode and base class name here doctor is acquiring the properties from class person and this class will be derived class here the new thing is access mode we already know public and private access mode the new access mode is protected so if access mode of base class is public then all the public members of base class will become public members of derived class and derived class can inherit some or all features of this base class and here a doctor class can inherit the properties from more than one class as well so if you want to acquire properties from more than one class you are supposed to mention number of class over here this access mode can be private can be protected if you are not mentioning access mode over here by default it will be private so this is very brief about the concept inheritance thank you